up a little bit this time and film my at-home lower body workout. Um, hopefully without too much interruption from these guys. Um, basically some changes I've been making lately is I kind of have this nagging glute thing that's been going on and um, basically long story short I, I'm not going to do my powerlifting meet in November anymore. I just decided it wasn't something I wanted to do. It's not something that makes me happy anymore. Um, I'll probably compete one time in the future. I'm not really sure at this point. Um, but for right now, the focus is mostly just health and happiness. Um, I think a lot of people feel like you have to have a specific goal in order to lift, and I don't feel that way. So today I'm just going to go through my lower body workout that is not powerlifting specific, it's not figure specific, it's just something that, you know, anyone can do. Um, obviously not everyone has a squat rack and a barbell um, at their disposal, at home, at their gym, whatever. Um, just use whatever works best for you. Um, I'm gonna wear my squat shoes, which not everyone does, just because if I plan on competing in the future, I might as well have that for specificity, um, using your equipment that you're gonna use all the time. And then the rest of the stuff is just anything that you can do at home. Um, I do have the, um, this guy, which I feel is pretty helpful for anyone who does any sort of lower body work. It's the Mark Bell Slingshot. Um, I like the blue, Cody has the red, the red I use sometimes, but you'll see me use this for some of my accessory stuff. I think you can use a band um, if that's something that you have, but this is a pretty decent tool to use, um, especially when you're trying to get some glute activation. I historically have glutes that don't like to activate, which you know some people are like, your giant glutes, blah, 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 blah. Not that I have giant glutes, but you know what I mean? The size of your muscle doesn't necessarily mean that you're activating it. I feel like I genetically have the glutes that I do, not because of how I work out. So I'm trying really to focus on incorporating more glutes into my workouts. So today is gonna be lower body um, with kind of, I guess you could say a glute emphasis, but not really. So um, here we go. All I know is that just need up. All I know is you just need up. All I know is we just need a All I know is you just need a Running back Because I'm awfully deceiving I always say I'm fine, but that's not the true meaning The walls are caving in and it leaves me with feelings But the only one that matters is I won't be defeated uh, Don't keep talking, pray that I lost it I keep it cool, my attitude's defrosted And I'm intending to bring a revolution There far too many problems to fall few solutions So, let's march towards the hills Let's march with the dreams to be fulfilled The betting plan and I'm making them sign a bill Letting out a future is hard to me still And all I know is I just need a All I know is you just need a All I know is we just need a All I know is you just need a Oh, 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 
difficult for me to do. I feel like that slingshot really helps um, in moves that people traditionally are like, oh, this is a good glute move and I never feel it in my glutes. That really helps me to activate that. Um, but yeah, I, sometimes I'll throw in things like lunges, but this is a pretty typical lower body workout for me. Um, I'm going to try and do more of these so that you can see kind of what a lifting for happiness kind of workout looks like for me um, while still keeping you know, obviously physique goals and then also strength goals in mind. Um, the next time I squat, I'll probably squat a lot heavier, but that's what a typical workout looks like for me. Um, let me know if this is something you like and uh, I guess regardless, you're gonna see more of this.